Let's talk about sorting and filtering in Google Sheets. So the very simplest way to deal with sorting in Google Sheets is to go to the data menu and let's say we want to sort by district. We'll go ahead and select district here. We'll go to data and we'll sort by column C. And if we select that, well, that's not quite what we want. You can see here that we've lost our header and the data is it's not quite exactly what we intended. So let's go ahead and undo that. We'll go ahead and click that undo button. Command Z on Mac or Control Z on Windows will do the same. And uh, th that's not quite what we want to do. So we can actually select all of the data first. So we can do that. We can either select column or cell A1 and then hold down shift and select all of our data. Now we can actually go to the end if we hold down command and then push down on Windows or if on Win or I'm sorry on Mac on Windows we can hold shift and press control down uh, and that will actually select everything. Now we can go to data sort range and we can select data has header row. So we get this nice option to kind of pick this by a name. We select district and then we hit sort and let's go back up to our top here. Uh, you can scroll up, you can just use your scroll bar, you can just hit command up or control up if you're on Windows. And you can see we have now sorted by district and we can scroll all the way down. There's a lot of data here, but if we scroll down you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have all of our districts there. So sort range allows you to sort pretty effectively. Now we can also apply that uh, to everything by hitting command A or control A and that will select all of our pertinent data here. Uh, if we go to data, sort range and then select data has header row we can now pick say we so want to sort by multiple columns we can select district then we could say uh, we'll select beat and then maybe we want to add another column we want to sort that in reverse so we see the latest values first so we'll select date and select z to a which basically means we're going to reverse sort this and we hit sort and now we'll see district then beat but sorted as the latest first here. So sort range provides us some pretty good options for sorting our data. Uh, pretty easy to just select data, sort range, and then pick out what we want. Um, but we might want to go a little bit further than that. And, and sort range is good, but maybe we want to apply a lot of sorting and we want to do maybe some filtering. So we can actually do that pretty easily. If we, so if we just get into our data and hit data, filter, that will allow us to filter our data. And notice we now get these nice little drop downs. This one's got a lot of dates, so it's going to take a moment to kind of look at all of those. Uh, but we get this nice little option to sort. So we can sort A to Z. We can sort all of our data that way. Uh, we can sort Z to A. We can sort individual columns pretty effectively, which will sort all of the data associated with each row. Uh, we can also filter. So um, here in the date column, maybe that's not so great, but you know, maybe here for the NCIC code, we can select, maybe we we'll only want to see values that start with 1200. So uh, we can hit clear and we can say 1210, 1211, 1212, and 1299. Now that's going to filter, so you can notice the row numbers. It's only showing us row numbers where we have one of those values, which is nice because we can very quickly and easily look at this data now. It makes it very simple to kind of analyze this, and it makes there's significantly less data here. I think that this is about uh, 7,500 uh, record or rows in this file, so we're seeing significantly fewer here. And then we can apply even more filters. Maybe we only want to look at districts one, two, and three here now. So we select those and hit OK. And maybe we want to go back, we can just click select all and apply that again. So very easy to modify what we're looking at very quickly. Now, maybe we want to filter by some kind of condition as well. So we can do that. We don't have to just filter by actual values. We can say filter by, con by condition. Maybe we only want to look at values where uh, the value is between, say, 2 and 5. Now if we hit OK. You'll notice we're not seeing any ones, we're not seeing any sixes, we're only seeing two, three, four, and five. So we can filter by condition and there are a whole lot of options here. We can find where there are empty cells or not empty. We can find where there's, where there's some kind of matching text. Uh, we can find where the date is a particular thing or you know, we could say maybe we only wanna look at values that are before uh, January 15th. We can click filter by condition and we can select date is before we can type this in January 15th, 2006, and we hit OK. And now you can see we're not seeing any values that are after January 15th. We're just seeing the values. Uh, it looks like we might not have gotten that one correct. Let's go ahead and change that filter. Date is before exact date, January 
15th, 2006. So it should work. Sometimes things don't pick up. There we go. So now we're only seeing those values that are uh, before January 15th. And you can see here, we've got this icon that shows that we have filtered this column, we have filtered this column, and we have filtered this column. But we can also go back and just select everything and we'll hit OK. And we can select everything here. And we'll just select all. We'll go ahead and clear our condition out. No condition, just select all. And hit OK. And here we can remove our condition for this as well. None and hit OK. So the filtering allows you to very quickly kind of look at a very small amount of data that you care about uh, or just look at a you know particular value or find problems where maybe you don't have uh, data filled in. You can use that filter for, for lots of different things. So sorting and filtering in Google Sheets, pretty straightforward. And we'll see in future videos how we can actually leverage that and use that for maybe more interesting insights. Uh, for now, though, this should give you a pretty basic uh, overview of what we're doing with sorting and filtering. And uh, keep watching our next couple of videos. We'll also talk more about how we can kind of analyze and report on our data. Thanks for watching.